Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm gonna share with you how to do three simple but clean animated titles in DaVinci Resolve. Let's check it out. Alright, so in this video we're gonna recreate three titles from our clean motion title pack. You can download a sample by clicking the link in the description below. And if you'd like to enjoy a pack of 30 pre-animated titles for DaVinci Resolve, you can go over to our website and check the full pack. Now without further ado, let's jump into the tutorial. Okay, so in the edit page right now, we're gonna go over to effect and now we're gonna need to create a new fusion composition. So I'm gonna just drag a new fusion composition in the timeline and then we can go over to fusion. Now I'm just gonna bring a text node in the working area and I'm gonna link the output of the text to the media out. I'm just gonna rename that text DaVinci Resolve. I'm gonna change the font to Montserrat, which is a font that I usually like to use and we're gonna leave it as bold. Now for the first title, we're gonna go over to layout and we're gonna make an animation with the center Z and with the opacity. So right now I would like my animation to be done at the frame 24. So I'm then gonna add a keyframe to center Z. Then I'm gonna move to shading. And for the opacity, I would like it to be done at the frame 12. So then I'm just gonna add a keyframe here at frame 12. Now I'm just gonna go down to zero and I'm gonna bring the opacity down to zero. So we have now a simple animation with the opacity going from zero to one during 12 frame. And now we're just gonna finalize the center Z animation by here uh, going to zero as well. And now we're gonna bring the center Z to minus two. And now if we play it, we have a simple off-screen animation, but the animation is not smooth at all. We need to smooth that out uh, here using the spline editor. So let's click on the spline. Then we're gonna tick the boxes uh, text one, which is gonna tick the boxes uh, center Z and opacity. Uh, so we can see the keyframe that we added so we can adjust them. I'm gonna click on that button right here to just show all my keyframe right here in one spot. And then I'm just gonna select all of them and hit the command S on my keyboard. Then I'm gonna hit T on my keyboard and I'm gonna adjust the ease in to maybe about 75. As you can see, essentially what it does, it's just adjusting the curve. So here we're gonna have uh, an animation that's gonna ramp up in terms of the speed. So let's play it. Perfect, it looks already way smoother and way nicer and that's all first animation. Now for the animation out, we're gonna replicate the exact same process, but this time at the end. So I'm gonna go on the frame uh, 97, which is where I want my animation to start again. And here I'm gonna add a keyframe on center Z. Then I'm gonna go to shading and I'm gonna move my cursor right here about 10 frame. And I'm gonna add a keyframe on opacity. And now I'm gonna go to the last frame and I'm gonna just bring the opacity down to zero. And then going back to layout, I'm gonna change the value of center Z to minus two. So you can see as I go along uh, the point being added to the spline editor, now I can just select all of them. Again, hit the letter S. And this time, instead of adjusting the ease in, I'm gonna adjust the ease out. So here, I'm just gonna add the ease out to 75, like I've done for the ease in at the beginning. And now if we play it, we have a simple animation in and animation out that looks uh, very good in my opinion. Now, if you would like to uh, extend it in your edit page uh, to be able to stretch your title, you will need to use a keyframe stretcher. I'm not gonna go in detail on how to use a keyframe stretcher in this video. I'll link to another video that I've made a while back on the topics if you want to learn more about it. But basically right now I'm just gonna add one. So I'm gonna hit shift space to open the select tool window. And here I'm gonna search for keyframe stretcher. I'm gonna add that between text one and the media out and I'm just gonna change the right value so here the source start is zero and the uh, last frame is uh, 120 so it's already good for this now I want the stretch to start at the frame 25 so I'm just gonna change that here to 25 and I want the stretch to end at 96 and basically what it does is essentially here it tells DaVinci that everything uh, between the frame 25 and the frame 96 uh, can be stretched. So you will retain the animation in and the animation out. So if we were to here move to uh, the edit page and we want to stretch this, as you can see, we keep the animation in. Now everything is fine during the entire time we stretch and we keep uh, also the animation out right here. All right, so that's pretty much it for the first title. Now let's move on to the second one. 
So I'm gonna go back to the edit page. I'm gonna bring a fusion composition again in the timeline, go over this fusion composition and then move over to the fusion page. Now I'm gonna again add a text node right in my working space and I'm gonna link the, out, the text output to the media out. I'm gonna rename it. DaVinci Resolve again. I'm gonna change again the font uh, from Open Sans to uh, Montserrat. And now for this one, we're gonna use a mask to do the animation. So I'm gonna click on my text one and then I'm gonna go over right here and click on the rectangle. It basically just gonna add a mask on top of my text right here. So as you can see now, the text is masked if it's not in the box. So I'm just gonna adjust that to go right around the text here. Uh, maybe just a bit bigger because I'm gonna use the soft edge perfect. And now I'm just gonna keyframe the position of the text to be in and out of the mask to have the animation. So here we're gonna click on the text one, then we're gonna go over to layout. And here we're gonna add a keyframe at mm, maybe 15. We're gonna just add a keyframe right here. And then we're gonna go down to frame zero. And then we're just basically gonna drag the text out of the mask. Now again, we're gonna smooth out the animation. So click on the spline editor, then click on that button right here to show all the key point that you've added. And then we can just select everything, hit the letter S on the keyboard, hit the letter T on the keyboard to show the ease in and ease out. Here, I'm just gonna click on that little lock right there and I'm gonna just raise the ease in and the ease out to maybe 75 like previously. And now if we play it, we have a simple mask animation for text, but I think we can make it better by using a simple trick that I really, really like doing uh, with those kind of mask animation. It's here, click on the rectangle mask and we're gonna adjust the soft edge to have some feathering on the border of the mask. And and it's gonna just give that effect here of you know coming out gradually with a sort of like opacity animation and now if we play it it looks even better in my opinion so here you can see side by side the two animation uh, with and without the soft edge and i think you know adding a bit of soft edge around the mask is just making it look a bit nicer now for the animation art repeat the same process uh, at the end of your composition so go at uh, frame 105 and then i'm just gonna add here a keyframe go to the last frame and then I'm gonna drag it out of the mask again right here and I'm just gonna select those two point hit the letter S and same here at the easy in at 75 and now we have all animation completed so animation in and the animation out and that's it for the second title now let's move on to the third title so we're gonna bring in a new fusion composition again in our timeline. I'm gonna click on the fusion composition and move over to fusion again. Then we're gonna bring a text node in the working area, link the output to the media out, add some text, DaVinci Resolve, change the font to Montserrat. And for this one, we're gonna create an animation using the size, the tracking, and here the opacity. So I want the animation to uh, be done at frame 24. I'm gonna go back to text right here. I'm gonna do a keyframe on size, a keyframe on tracking. I'm gonna go to frame zero. And here I'm gonna bring a tracking up about there. I think I'm happy with that. And I'm gonna bring the size also a little bigger right here. Now I'm gonna add an opacity animation. So I'm gonna go to frame maybe 15 right here. I'm gonna go to shading and I'm gonna add a keyframe on opacity. Then I'm gonna go to frame zero. I'm gonna bring the opacity down to zero. Now again, my Splendid Editor, I'm gonna click on that button to have everything showing up on screen. I'm just gonna select everything. Hit the letter S, then hit the letter T. And again here, I'm gonna lock this and bring the ease in to about 60% maybe for this one. And now if we play it, we have all animation. For the animation out, once again, exact same process. So here I'm gonna go on the frame 97. I'm gonna click on my text. I'm gonna go back to text right here. I'm gonna add a keyframe on size, a keyframe on tracking. And then I'm gonna go to my last frame and I'm gonna bring the tracking up and the size up as well. And I'm gonna go to shading. I'm gonna click on frame 110, add a keyframe on opacity, and then go to the last frame again and bring the opacity down to zero. I can then just show up everything on screen by clicking the button right here, then select all my key point, hit the letter S, then again, same here, raise the ease in and ease out 
to about 60. And here we go, we got our animation in and our animation out. Now, if you want to add a keyframe stretcher, you can do that right here again. And that's pretty much it. Here is the third title. Again, you can download a sample by clicking the link in the description below. And if you want to have an easy tool to use those kind of titles directly in the edit page with a lot of control, uh, you can check the full pack that we created, Clean Motion Title Pack, on our website. Uh, it's basically a pack containing 30 of those kind of animation. And we basically created a master title file where basically within one file you have all those 30 animation directly you can use them individually but you can also have this uh, one right there that contain all those animation so that's 30 plus animation and here you have the choice also between six different animation out uh, you have some background element there is a lot of things that you can do with it and overall it's a great tool to save you time while editing i hope this video was helpful don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one bye Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transitions and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigastudio.com.